As the demand for workplace safety takes center stage, navigating the road to OSHA compliance becomes more and more difficult. This video presentation will help you understand what is required and show you specifically the OSHA regulations that you must comply. This video is produced by ITU. Industrial Training University is a national and international leader in conducting arc flash analysis and electrical safety training, along with many other industrial related education, engineering, and research efforts. ITU has helped many well known companies such as Coca-Cola, General Electric, Dana, Essex Wire, Watson Laboratories, Hospira, Prairie Farms, Peabody Energy, the U.S. Army and Navy, as well as other universities, college, and training organizations. ITU is an authority in arc flash analysis. ITU helps companies just like yours comply with OSHA requirements. Some uninformed training companies, consultants, and department heads would lead you to believe that OSHA regulations are not enforceable by law. OSHA primarily enforces its standards by conducting surprise workplace inspections and issuing citations, which may result in fines for an employer's failure to comply with standards. If an OSHA compliance officer finds a workplace where workers are in immediate danger during an inspection, the officer will ask the employer to end the hazardous condition and prevent workers from being exposed to it. If the employer fails to do so voluntarily, an injunction may be sought in federal court to shut down the work site until the employer fixes the dangerous problem. An employer must inform OSHA within eight hours of a workplace accident that results in a death or hospitalization of three or more employees. OSHA will then investigate whether the accident happened because the employer had violated OSHA standards. When a willful violation of an OSHA standard results in a death of a worker, OSHA may subject an employer to criminal penalties. The maximum penalty is a misdemeanor with a maximum of six months in jail, though some local prosecutors file manslaughter or other felony charges when an employer's criminal negligence causes a worker's death. Let's take a close look at what OSHA says about arc flash requirements. The employer shall assess the workplace to determine if hazards are present or are likely to be present, which necessitate the use of personal protective equipment or PPE. If such hazards are present or are likely to be present, the employer shall select and have each affected employee use the types of PPE that will protect the affected employee from the hazards identified in the hazard assessment. The employer shall verify that the required workplace hazard assessment has been performed through a written certification that identifies the workplace being evaluated. The person certifying that the evaluation has been performed, the date of the hazard assessment, and which identifies the document as a certification of hazard assessment. OSHA inspectors are instructed to use NFPA 70E as a guide as if to an employer acted properly when an investigation or inspection is being conducted. There are several OSHA investigation reports fining companies who fail to conduct the required arc flash analysis and who have failed to supply the worker with proper PPE based on the specific requirements in OSHA 1910. OSHA Publication 3075 states clearly that OSHA's electrical standards are based on the National Fire Protection Association standards NFPA 70 and the NFPA 70E electrical safety requirements for employee workplaces. This same publication 3075 requires employers to install safety signs including the arc flash hazard label these signs or labels must meet the ANSI Z35 sign standard as published by the American National Standards Institute. OSHA regulations are laws that must be understood. If you are an employer who has employees who work on or around electrical equipment, you are required to assess your workplace and take these necessary steps to protect your workers. Whether large or small, your company's future depends on your compliance with these safety regulations. 
industrial training universities, engineering support staff, sales and project coordinators, technical and training staff, and licensed professional engineers stand ready to meet with you and discuss your needs and help you every step of the way. ITU's professionally trained staff and crew will survey your electrical system and gather the data needed to conduct the arc flash assessment or analysis. Our highly trained faculty and engineers with years of experience will carefully conduct the required analysis using state-of-the-art computer-aided electrical modeling software called ETAP. ETAP is the best, most comprehensive, and highly used electrical analysis platform in the industry. ITU's arc flash services are turnkey, with most projects under 1,000 electrical panels being completed under two weeks. When our crew leaves, your analysis is completed, your panels are labeled, and your staff is trained to understand and avoid the hazards. Call ITU today or see us on the web at arcflashengineering.com.